Yeah, we are live. Live stream part two. And again, AFC Southall, man. Come very, on. very local to me, up the road from me as well. So it's a pleasure to have you on, man. How you doing, I bro? Appreciate. I'm great. I'm great. I appreciate you having us on, honestly. Like, I've seen some of the live streams you've done with other teams. We appreciate you being on the page, man. No, no, listen, man. Come on now. I have to, I have to shout out my own end as well, man. Like, Weston and, you know, we're here, man. We're here. But, That's uh, it. Yeah, like, how's that things been going for you, especially during, like, this previous lockdown as well? Yeah, it's been tough. Obviously, with us, with um, we restarted the team again, obviously, this year, well, beginning of the year, um, after taking a bit of time off. And we thought, you know what, let's get back into the swing of things. It looked good. January, February, locked, first lockdown happened. That completely stopped everything. But the good thing is, we've only had one, a month of lockdown, so it's, it's stopped the league a little bit, but it just makes everyone hungrier, let's be honest. Now that we're back at it, it just makes you even want it more. Yeah, no, nah, for real, for real. Because again, like, let's face it, we've only got a couple more weeks until Christmas. So exactly. after that, then we can hopefully go gung ho again. But I suppose we've got to get in as much football as we can before you know we we sit down for another two weeks. So, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. And plus, uh, with all these lockdown treats, it's good that this grassroots football gets to be part. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's only going to benefit everyone in the in the grand scheme of things. Nah, for real, real. But again, look. It gives me a good opportunity to kind of get to know you more and get to know cool. AFC Southall more as a team. So talk me through AFC Southall because I I was just on the assumption, again, this is me not broadening my horizon, but I, I only assume that there's like two teams in Southall, but obviously there's three, probably even more. There's, so, there's again, probably a lot more. Yeah. Probably a lot more. Um, cool. But yeah, talk me through AFC Southall. Like, what's the history behind you guys? So it's actually a quite a long history. So my father before me, he was running, he was doing football management back in the 80s and 90s when it was real grassroots football. And yeah, those big leather, you know, balls that you're kicking around in the muddy fields. There's none of this, you know, fancy stuff we got now. But he started it off in the 80s and 90s. And his biggest thing was get the street, get the kids off the streets and get them playing football. Do you know what I mean? These young adults, when, as soon as you hit 16, 17, you don't really have these club off school clubs now, do you really? No. And some of and some of these kids they fall into bad habits, bad crews, bad you know situations. But if you give them that passion, that drive, and that organization that they need, can think of it. Football's a routine. If you know you're training on Tuesday, a Thursday, match on a Saturday, those are your three big commitments. Mm. And the father, he was he was a big big advocate of getting these kids, getting them playing proper football, and, and giving them a passion. And then. In 2010, he passed away, and it was a case of me taking over. I was only 20 at the time. So it was a case of, here's the team, your turn. And it's just like, okay, well, let, let's go from here. But if every every grassroots team has the humble beginning, which is you call your mates up, all the best players that you know, and think, right, let's start a football team. And from 2010 to, to now, it's just been a case of developing players, getting kids off the street, giving them a structure uh, and winning trophies on, along the way. I mean, in 2014 is when we won our first trophy. We play in these tournaments called uh, KFF tournaments. They're hosted around the UK. So you'll have games in Derby, Walsall, Leicester, uh, Birmingham, etc. We won our first championship in 2014. Um, and, then, and then we went again, unfortunately, finalists in 2015 and 16 won it again in 18 and then due to family reasons we had to stop the team and then in 20 and then in 2020 we were like right let's let's get the let's get the throne back let's put south on the map and obviously you know with other teams in south now merging it's only going to put a bigger light on everyone isn't it that's correct and, and if we can make south for a hub because if you think about it with your channel it's southeast uh south london southeast you have quite a few rivalries going on but we're south when do you ever hear about south do you know what i mean and it's time to put South on the map and show we've got ballers as well. Don't sleep on us as well. We've got some absolute ballers, but it's just getting the light on us. Yeah, no, you're, you're completely right as well. Like, I'm, I've been guilty of that in the past, like, focusing pretty much on South. And I'm like, hold on, you know, you guys are only up the road from me. Like, West London needs the same spotlight, if not more, because yeah. everyone seems to shine a light over that side. So, like, you're completely right. Um, exactly. But like, another thing is, that, like when we started off, it was it was it was just a small dream. Me and my brother, that's all it was. Us two running, team, putting our own money in. Because let's be honest, how, you can't get a sponsor overnight and say, right, do you want to sponsor my football team? And you got nothing behind you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's about putting your money in. And and any, every grassroots team knows you. The first couple of years, it's all about hitting hitting a loss on yourself, putting the money in. But it's all about the perseverance. It's all about the bigger picture. It will get good. It will get good. And 
thankfully, now we're in a situation where we've got two major sponsors on board, and now we can really push on. Okay, okay, okay. So, so what? Ten years now you've been running it since, obviously, taking over from your dad. Is that correct, yeah? That's right, that's right. Ten years I've been doing this. So, I suppose, like, obviously, you mentioned some of the highs of, obviously, you know, winning trophies and coming runners-up and all the rest of it, but... What about the flip side of it? What's about the things that people don't see? You mentioned about some of the costs and stuff, but of course, what about I, that? You, you, I mean, again, Root TV puts a light, uh, shine a light on it. P getting a pitch, especially four G pitches, it's in, it's it's a massive you know bleed on clubs. Because think of it this way: if, especially in Southall, you come around our area. Where is where are the pitches? They aren't. You're gonna have to go to a park. Generally, the school. Let's be honest: you hire out a school, they'll have a pitch. But seven days a week, they've got the kids walking up and down on it. You come on a Saturday and the pitch is like that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Finding, finding, out, finding a 4G pitch ain't the cheapest of things. And and doing that on a regular basis, training, matches, it's not an easy habit. Do you know what I mean? And it's not. And this is supposed to be a sport. This is supposed to be a hobby. It's supposed to be the love of it. Do you know what I mean? We're not professionals. We're not getting paid for this. Yeah. But you would think that, you know the push on grassroots would help smaller clubs like us and who are just trying to build and make a base, but it's hard. And to be fair, we had to stop the team in 2018 because of the finances, because you, we don't have sponsors giving us money going, go on, hire out a pitch, here's a new kit, here's some track suits. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. when it gets to that point, is, is you got to think about it. What, what do I pay for now? Do I pay for my council tax or do I pay for the, the league administration? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> When you're having to kind of have those sort of debates, do I eat this week or do I <laughs> That's when exactly. exactly. starts to get peed. Because the, the biggest thing with us at AF Southwood is we've got younger players as well. We've got the 18, 19 or the 17 who are training. Yeah. You want them and they haven't got the money. They can't go to their parents every week and ask for the money and, you know, train and play matches, going to goals on a weekly basis. Do you know what I mean? So we yeah. like to give that platform to come train Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday matches. It's only going to benefit them in the long run. No, nah, no, nah, you're completely right. You're completely right there. Um, so talk to me about this team of yours then. You know, you're playing on Saturdays. Talk to me about the league that you're in as well. Talk to me about some of the, the standout players, if you like. Who's your top goal scorer? Who's your goalkeeper? Who's your captain? Of course, of course. So obviously, uh, we play in the Middlesex County Division 1, South East. Um, yeah. This is the first year back since 2018. So we've got a couple of old boys back and a couple of the new boys back. Uh Fun enough, because obviously the lockdowns and everything, we've only played two games this season, unfortunately. Uh, we played the, fir the first game, we won 2-1 um, against a team called Hillenden. Second game, we lost 2-1 to Boston Manor. Now, with our team, I mean, we've got our goalkeeper, we've got Mutes. Um, he was actually playing at Hazen Yedding last season, but we had him before that, and we I, you know, pulling some strings. Like, Why don't you come give us a year? See if you like it, see if you enjoy it. And then, and then we'll see you next year. Luckily, he's come. Amazing goalkeeper. I mean, we've got a new back line. Uh, before, we used to have a couple of players. Now we've got, you know, like a good six, seven, eight players. Because as grassroots teams know, it's all well and good having the best 11, but not everyone can show in week in, week out. Do you know what I mean? Squad. You've got to have a squad. It's all about having a squad. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, it's, it's about having, having committed players that, look, you're not going to play every single week, but you keep coming, keep improving, you get better. I mean... We've got we've got a new centre back uh, partnership in Mikey and Mags. I'm sure they'll be watching right now. Um, we've got a brand new midfield. We've got Richie, who's our striker. Um, he's so far we've only really, really played two games. He scored in both, which is brilliant. But it's just to get get the momentum. Do you know what I mean? Like two games, you can't really judge anything through that. Do you know what I mean? Now it's now it's go time. Now it's getting consistent runs on the board. Getting bigger, getting better, showing, and another thing, show, putting a marker in the league. These other teams need to know who we are. We're AFC powerful. When when they see on the football meter we're playing these boys, I want them to be afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to start some fear into some people as well. I mean, oh. I, I know you've only played two games, but at the same time, you know, you got to build up momentum. And again, you put your plans to you obviously move up the leagues as well because you know you want to get into the division as well. So, and the one thing I advocate is the style of football we play. Honestly, you should see me on a training session when I'm, when I'm getting on at the boys. It's all about playing good football because at the end of the day, it's, it's all well and good having grassroots football, but I'm not into getting a ball, knock it down, and getting the boy to chase after it. We don't play that football. <laughs> we want to play good football. And at the end of the day, is the, the, the more stylish you play, the more eyes you get on you. And some of these teams in this league are going to find out how good we really are. Obviously, it's hard. We want to be humble, but at the same time, we want to show everyone we're that team. 
We are that damn good. Okay, okay. Well, with that being said, we're going to get into some of the highlights uh, that you sent across. Uh, let's, yeah. let's take a look at some of them and talk off the back of them. So let's check this one out. No problem. Yes! Yes, yes. yes it is! Yeah. Fucking quality, Marcel! Fucking quality! So I'll say that was Marcel. I just hear the commentary in the background say effing quality Marcel. So exactly. Yeah. Marcel, he's on freak specialists. Honestly, you put that boy anywhere on the box, yeah. That left foot is going back of the net. Yeah. Honestly, he's a special, special player. I mean, unfortunately, I could only get one on camera. He's put three in in preseason and like oh. nothing. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, honestly, that, that free kick, funny enough, was we we were one nil up. We're looking for the second goal. And you know when it gets into that 30th minute, just before half time, 35th minute, and it's like, right, do we consolidate, go into half time and then come out again, or do we push another one? We get the free kick. Literally everyone on the sideline goes, right, 2 0 half time, then it is brilliant. <laughs> is that deadly? Who would you compare him to in terms of free kicks? Uh um, really then like if it's old for the old heads, they might know Janino from Le uh, Leon a couple of years back. Okay, okay. you know what I'm talking about. Left foot, yeah, 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 yeah. put that spin on it because it's not it's not always about the power, that accuracy. You get that one point, keep it, keep it, ain't got a chance. Okay, Janino. Okay, not not minutes with Janino. You're talking about no, Leon. No, no. Okay. Leon Gianni. For those that don't know, hit YouTube, type in Janino Leon, and you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fair enough, Marcel. He, 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 listen, the gaffer's holding you up in, in high esteem for that one as well. He, if, he, if he's watching, he better put one in on Saturday now. Yeah, listen, oi, we'll get into Saturday, don't you worry. <laughs> um, okay, let's, let's run for the second clip. Here we go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, Richie. Let's go, Richie. Yeah, come on. That man, Richie. Richie doing what Richie does. Simple. <laughs> Qu predator. Quick. Strong. Deadly. What more can you offer for a number nine? I mean, before that, I wouldn't really get it. It was a great little passage. You know, you, you're playing. The one thing I love is when you play at the back, you do the one, two, draw me in. There's nothing really going. And then snap. Go. And that's exactly what we did there. And they didn't know what to do. As soon as Richie's through, I promise you this. No one's stopping him. Once he's through, it's a goal. Forget it. Yeah, oh, is he uh, he's the top goal for so far? Is he? Yeah, yeah, he's on he's on number nine, he's up front. Okay, Richie, Richie. Okay, yeah. so again, making that comparison again for anyone who's watching in, who would yeah. you kind of compare his style to? Not necessarily like who he is, because again, if he was yeah, yeah. on top, York, then he probably wouldn't play for AFC South. But let's be sure. 100%, 100%, 100%. Um, I would put his style to like a fit Daniel Sturridge, the way. You know, that, that 2012 story, the way he sh moves, Bob, Reeve, and then that power and that pace combined. you got finesse, you got power, you got pace. It's the deadliest combo you can find in a footballer. Okay. Daniel Sturridge, a.k.a. Richie, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel Sturridge. Oi. Uh, after, after, I'd like to give you the, the niche ones. Not the, I, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and call him Ronaldinho now, am I? Let's be honest. <laughs> so we've got Leo Janino on the free kicks. And then we got 2012 Daniel Sturridge played up top. Okay. That's it. That's All it. Right. right, let's go into clip number three. Here we go. Oi, lovely. Skokie play. Lovely Skokie. No, I couldn't really make out that one, but... Uh... Yeah, it was a bit, a bit of a, not the best of cam quality, but... That's Marcel again on the getting the ball, gone down the right, cut back, puts the ball in for our midfielder Skoki. Skoki puts in now. Skoki, that's uh, vice captain. That's old boy. He's uh, he's the he's the legend of the team. He sits in that midfield, gets the ball going, puts it around, and honestly, the way that that man sees the game is is phenomenal. And you need that when you've got a team full of youngsters and and quickness. You always need that level head, that that anchor in the middle who can get the ball going. And for that one, he thought, right, let me get up the pit, put one back in the net myself. <laughs> I hope he doesn't mind you calling him old boy as well. But... Um, I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, Skokie, he's been around from get-go, from 2010. Honestly, he's been he's been through the, the highs, the lows, and the indifference. And uh, funny enough, in the 2018 Cup Final, he scored the winning goal 
Uh, but 35 yards, I'll put you in the camera. 35 yards, top bins, wins it. Job done. Uh, uh, oh, wait, where was the camera for that? They were too busy being thrown in the air because everyone's running down the touchline. <laughs> Uh, so again, making the comparison, who would you compare him to then? He, he got scorsy. He has to be. He has Scorsi. to be. Scorsi. He has to be the way. He gets the ball one, two touch, ping. One, two touch, ping. That way. That's it. You can't touch him because by the time you already pressed him, the ball's already thirty yards in that direction. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you got Scolzi in there as well. Janino Scolzi and uh, twenty twelve Daniel Sturridge. All right. I wait to see who the fourth and final one is, but um, let's take a look here. Yeah. So what, that one was disallowed, was it? No, and then allowed after. So oh, a bit of a bit of a, Okay. So the okay. lineup put the thing, he, he blows the whistle instinctively, then then has another chat with him, and then it, they've got the wrong guy offside, and then he was on. So that I don't know for grassroots saying, eh? but again that was uh, Sadiq and one of our young boys. He just joined the season. He's the one who cuts in, passes it to Tony. Tony's our midfield engine. He's the boy that just keeps everything going. Like honestly, my, he could probably run for 100, 108 minutes if he really wanted to. Uh, that's how fit the boy is. Honestly, he's smashing it. And then he pass, he gets the little cross in, and that's Curran on the wing. He's our little speed star with the header goal. That's the first got a heading. That's the first header he's ever scored for us as well. Oh, is it? He's yeah, yeah. down low for that one as well, bear in mind. Very low. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But yeah, again, so if I was to compare him, like, Tony, he's just that engine that just constantly going. Like, um, I, I wouldn't even know who to, to describe him as. He's just that box-to-box player. He just gets the ball gone every time. I would say he's, he's like a Pogba, but that's but Pogba's more of a, you know, uh, a slower kind of player. With him, it's just direct. Get the ball gone. Okay, different. So again, Leon's Janino, yeah. 2012 Daniel Sturridge, Skull exactly. and Pogba. Yeah. yeah. Not not bad. Not bad so far, is it? It's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, if they're worth like even half of what these guys are worth, oh, then I'd be boy, laughing. you'd be I'd laughing. You'd be laughing away to the bank. Oh, dear. So again, look, you said you played two games so far. Yeah. Um, Coming into the weekend, massive, massive game, uh, West London Derby. Now, look, there's some history between you two teams. Um, not that I'm aware of, so again, of this course. is where you come in and, and educate me and the people listening in. So what is what is the beef? Because again, there's a, little bit, there's a little bit of a beef there, uh, which obviously makes the, the whole rivalry a bit spicy for, for the West London Derby. So talk to me about it, bro. Effectively, so obviously we're AFC Southall. What's our club initials? Athletic Football Club Southall. Yeah, their chairman. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to say his name. He used to come and watch our games. Funny enough, he was he used to come down back in 2011, 2012, watch our games here and there. 2020 comes round, we just start seeing promotions of uh, uh, Southall AFC, Southall AFC. So I'm getting phone calls. Game. Have you rebranded your football team? Have you started another team? I'm like, no, nah, never of that. And then, and then we looked into it and we was like, hold on a minute, He's he knows who we are, he knows our team name, and you've just named your team the same team, but just the other way around. That sounds a bit suspect. And then, but where it comes in is, if you want to come into Southall, you want to start a football team, fair play, listen, it's, it's fair game for all. But don't come in and say you're the best after being a team only running since January. How can you be the best? Do you know what I mean? It's all well, listen, have the self-confidence have the, you know, the, the ego, but don't be calling yourself the best when you ain't won a trophy. Come on. Oh, and, then, oh. and, then the, and then the worst thing is we, we left it at that, thought nothing of it, and then their players decided to start taking shots at us. We, we, they're tagging us in. So there was one where uh, Bayern Munich played Barcelona when uh, Bayern beat him 8 2 last, last year, Champions League. Yeah. One of their boys decides to write, I don't know if Bayern are playing Barca or if they're playing AFC Southall. Bear in mind, he's never seen our game. He's never I've never met the boy. He's never been anywhere near our team. So you're throwing a shot just in the dock. Fair play. Didn't respond to that. Went to the manager, said, Is this how your players behave? What did I get back? If if um I didn't realize that you take it that seriously. Oh, okay, not a problem. So it's fine for your players to take a shot at us, not a problem. Then the derby came up before lockdown. 
Unfortunately, one of our players tested positive for Corona. So what do we do? The right action. Look, got to come to the game. End of the day, health and safety is the most important, especially in this climate. The boys might be fit, but they live with you know grandparents, this, that, and the other. We can't afford to do any of that. Mm. We cancel the game, and what do we? And then they start putting hashtags up. Hashtag they didn't want it. Hashtag they're bottlers. This, that, and the other. Their 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 managers calling off bottlers, saying this, that, and the other. Okay, so you're making light of a of a of a subject. Going, we've got, someone's tested positive for corona, but apparently we're bottlers because we're taking safety. That's the first thing I find disgusting. Because if you're gonna if you're gonna run a team and you want the publicity, you shouldn't be making light of these subjects. And on top of that, you're calling us bottlers because of that. Not a problem. Now, now for me being a friendly rivalry, now we're coming to put five past you. Okay, five. You know. Of course. I've told the boys yesterday at training, if we get less than five, yeah, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> end of the day, is, end of the day, is, you don't come in, you don't come in and you don't start barking straight away. End of the day, is, it's your first year in the league. You don't know how the league goes. You don't know how the other teams are and you're already claiming you're the best. Interesting. We'll find out on Saturday, isn't it? Who, the, who the best team in South for is. <laughs> So this is more than just bragging rights, so this is just like, you want to find out who the best team in Southall is, and again, you want to put everything to bed, because again, shots were fired, um, things were said, obviously, clearly, so, okay. Well, thank you, then. If you want to leave five shots at us, not a problem, we kept quiet, because guess what, you can't run for us for too long, and now we're here, now let's see, let's see. You can have your flashy posts, you can have your pictures, you can have all of this, but now is on the football pitch. My 11 versus their 11. Let's see who the best is. <laughs> Do you know any of their players at all? Uh, funny enough, their, their centre midfielder used to play for us. Oh, really? I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to say his name, but he knows who he is. He used to play centre midfielder for us. Didn't get into our team, unfortunately. So um, what did he decide to do? Join a team where he could get in. Good luck to the guy. Not a problem. But I know he plays at midfield for them. Um, apart from that, don't know really any of the other players. But again, I'm not bothered. I'm really not bothered because end of the day is if they think that they're as good as they are, we'll find out Saturday because the talking's done. It's it's one day away, and and I'm actually disappointed he didn't come on this stream because it would have been nice to have a little chat with him to see his thoughts on it. But hey, what can you do? <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, they um, they couldn't come on due to training tonight. Um, oh. Probably preparing for this game, so you know, we'll see. We'll see how, how things go from there. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Um, it is because we started this football team with one dream: get help the youth, help the community, play some good football, and win some trophies along the way. As every grassroots team does, we didn't co- we didn't come into this game firing shots at other teams, going right, we're coming for you, we're coming for you. Never. You build your base, you build your foundation, and then you go after others. You don't you don't pick up a football, put on a fancy new kit and go, right, we're the best. What have you done to accomplish that? So it's time for us to show who the real team is. So so what is it that you're 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 mainly annoyed with them at? Is it the fact that they're saying that they're the best, or is it the fact that they said that, you know, the, the whole COVID situation? What is it? Or is it just it's, a mix of everything? At first, it was a little annoying. It wasn't nothing. I mean, you, you, you've you you you've caused, caused your team South Athletic Football Club when we're Athletic Football Club South Wales. That's a bit dodge, but okay. Then on top of that, uh, you're calling yourself the best. Again, these are minor things. It's not a big deal. But when you're calling out a team saying you're bottlers, you don't want it because someone's tested positive for corona, yeah? That's where I draw the line. I'm sorry, but that's not how we handle ourselves. End of the day, we were supposed to play a game last Saturday against a team called Wembley City. They had the same issue. A guy tested positive for corona. They let us know. The first thing we did was send our well wishes. Hope you guys are okay. If you need anything, let us know. That's how it should be done. It doesn't matter if we're rivals, if we play football. The, what's going on in the world is a bigger issue than that. And as far as I'm concerned, if that's how you behave, yeah, that's fine. That just shows how your club's being run. Mm. And I'm pretty sure if, if some of the bigger teams that, that get um, highlights on your channel, like the SC Dons, the Rising Ballers, the Takers FC, I'm pretty sure if they had a team that said to them, oh, we can't play because of Corona, they wouldn't be going around saying, hashtag, they don't want it. I very much doubt they would be doing that, right? Uh, you'd be, I don't know, you'd be surprised. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a different subject altogether. Um, <laughs> but going, going on with that, like, 
educate me. Who? How many teams are there in in Southwell? Because obviously there's there's Southwell, there's Southwell Athletic, there's Southwell FC as well. That's like, right. So this, yeah. I believe the Southwell FC, um, they play in a, in a higher league. I'm yeah. not sure. Uh, you got Southwell Athletic and ourselves in this. You also have Newmont, who are another Southwell team. They yeah. also in our division. Um, I believe there's another team, the old Southall. They play on Sundays. Mm -hmm. um, there used to be a team called Southall Rangers, but I'm not sure if they're still running. They might have folded. So effectively, there's about four or five teams. But again, because there's no spotlight, because there's no, you know, there's no one that ever says what's going on in Southall, we get looked over, which is fine. It's up to us to build that profile. It's up to us to get our name out there. And hopefully, this derby might turn into a positive. It might, it might get some eyes on this. You know, Southall v Southall. Teams that are not even in, uh, that would normally be interested, they see it on your channel and they go, right, I might tune in, I might have a little look. Let's see, let's let's see what the result is, and it can only get bigger from there. No, of course, of course. I mean, look, in your opinion, in your humble opinion, who would you say is the best team in Southall? AFC Southall, baby. <laughs> I thought that was coming. Even though what? Hold on. Even though you said Southall FC playing a higher league than you guys, I'm more than happy to do a friendly. Okay. As far as I said, we folded, we folded two years ago due to family reasons, yeah. So it we stopped two years ago. We had to start from the bottom again. Yeah. So let's let's just keep going higher. When if hopefully in a year's time I'll be talking to you, we'll be in the Prem. Another year's time I'll be talking to you, we'll be in the combination. We're only going above and above, but again, I don't want to fire shots at any other teams until we get there. That's how it should be done. Yeah. And you mentioned Newmont as well. Newmont uh are in your league as well. Um yeah. You've not played them yet, I'm guessing. No, no, we haven't. But funny enough, we've got them the week after. Oh, right. <laughs> so this week, and that's going to be a friendly derby because we know their management, brilliant guys. Honestly, the way they've got this team set up is brilliant. And that's how rivalry should be. It should be, we're going to beat you, but we've got respect for you. On Saturday, there is no love. There is no shaking hands. Here's 5 nil. See you boys later. <laughs> And I hope, and I want you to clip that as well, because on Saturday night I'm going to need you to send that to me so I can post it to them boys. <laughs> oh, don't worry, there'll there'll be things clipped from this. Don't okay. you? <laughs> I mean, look, I'm sure the boys from South Athletic are watching. Uh, best regards to them as well. Hopefully they finish their training. If not, you can guys can watch it back as well. Um, <laughs> you just throw me off there. Obviously, like, where where's the game being played? Because. Obviously, there's, there's certain implications around, you know, coming yeah. up. So yeah, so we're playing, uh, we're playing at, in Cranford uh, because what, our home ground, uh, the one we normally play at, is they still shut due to COVID restrictions and they're just being a bit careful, which is fine. So we've had to move the venue to Cranford uh, Community College. But with that being a college and an academy, they've got stricter rules. So unfortunately, we can't have any spectators. Mm -hmm. But we did get one exception for yourself to come down, obviously, to watch. Um, and yeah, we just get a, a, a little light shine on us during the game, so there won't be spectators, unfortunately, this time around, which is fine. Mm -hmm. We'll just have to handle business on camera. But hopefully, next time when the day reverse fixture comes, hopefully, lockdown should be a bit easier. Then we're going to pull everyone, then everyone can come down and watch. So, I'm just going to throw a, uh, a hypothetical out there what yeah. if you go to this game and you don't get the five nil? In fact, it goes the other way around. What happens then? Do you know how confident I am? I don't even think like that's going to happen. I've got to be honest. I've not even put that in my head. I I don't like to think about things that ain't going to happen. Wow. It's going to be 5 0. If he's not 5, you're going to, if you see me on Saturday upset, yeah, you really have to say you didn't hit 5. Now nah, it's only 4 0, unfortunately. That's the, that's how unhappy I'm going to be. Wow. Wow. I mean, boy. Look, I don't listen. This is the thing about. When things get aired on YouTube and it doesn't go your way, cool. I'm here for the smoke. Okay, uh, okay. I'm here for the smoke. We don't win. Give me all the smoke, but we win. I don't want to see no one running and hiding because we're coming for you. <laughs> oh dear! Uh, longest night is just coming here. Big yeah. as well. You said, "Is there a Southall Derby?" Uh, I'm guessing you just listen because there is one clearly. Um, yeah, there between yeah. Southall. And of course, Southport Athletic coming up this Sunday as well. We're, we've also got a little surprise. Basically, we were going to unveil it to the players on Saturday, but because also we're big fans of Roots TV, we thought we'd show you. Uh, we're going to do a pop-up unveiling as well, but a sneak preview is our new home AFC Southport kit. Oh, 
Okay, exclusive yeah. now. Exclusive, exclusive for you boys. Obviously, I'm going to send you all the pictures and everything so you can ever see. But the, again, our sponsor, Pure Fighter and uh, Century 21. Just to give you a bit of information about them, Pure Fighter, the reason why we, we think we're the best is, is, is the number one CBD brand in the UK. Okay. They, they, their product get used by Lantry Clinic, who treat Man United Squad, who treat Anthony Joshua, who treat some pros. And effectively, we get those products for free. So that's why we're, we're getting bigger and bigger. And with Century 21, Heathrow, they're probably one of the biggest estate agencies there is. So with these guys on board, now our reality can be a dream. I told you about our humble beginnings. Yeah. Now it's time to push on and really go for it. And the kit is only is just the first step. Did you say CBD oils, yeah? CBD oils, indeed. We might have to start doing drug testing before this game, you know. You know of that. course you can. Of course you can. Of course you can. <laughs> but we're going to be the only team uh, that's sponsored by a CBD company, which uh, makes us a bit unique, which is good. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, right. Just to wrap up, is, is there Done. anything else that we kind of missed? Um, any any more smoke you want to offer out? Or to no, 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 no. The smoke, the smoke's done. I don't want to give them any more attention. End of the day is we're AFC Southall. We we play pass and move football. We have a club philosophy. We have our ambition, which is to help all these kids get off the streets and play some good football. And then we're there for the community. The biggest thing for us is is, is grassroots football is that is helping these kids have some sort of you know um, a, a routine in their life, a passion. Give them something to look forward to on a Saturday. No, there you go. And, and that's and that's the message I want to give to everyone. Is listen. Even if you, you might not be the greatest of footballers or you might think, you know what, I, I will never get to, you know, what you watch on TV. It's not about that. There's plenty of teams on a Saturday and a Sunday that would love to have you. You get out there, get your boots on and play football because we all love the game. We all love the game indeed, man. And again, look, I was going to say it one more time, the biggest West London derby. No, it's not Chelsea versus Fulham. <laughs> Brentford versus QPR. It's ASC Southall versus Southall Athletic on Saturday and again, I got front row seats. As well. Exactly. So, I'm also okay. going to put that. We're going to record the game and obviously put it on our page. So if anyone does want to know the result or the, they want to see the game, just get onto our Instagram, which is at ac.south4 and tune in. Enjoy the show. There you go. Tune in again. And look, hopefully, there'll be nobody running and hiding if they lose. Again. <laughs> Never. It is what it is, man. But again, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> But yeah, thank you, bro, for joining me, no, bro. Thank yeah. you so much. Have a great night, and I'll see you Saturday. There you go, bro. There you go. Take care. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you, guys.